Good evening, I'm Jeff Koinange, and this is Jeff Koinange Live tonight. You know if it's Thursday, it's all about inspiration. But before I get to my guest, I have to tell you this story. You're going to love it or hate it, maybe, depending on who, where you're watching from. So, <clears throat> many of you, most of you know about the arrest warrant on Tony Gashaka and myself by a magistrate here in town. Well, I got a call earlier this evening from a very senior police officer saying, cancel your show tonight because tonight you're going to be arrested i told him i couldn't cancel because my guest is a man you just do not cancel on so to cut a long story short the story the show must go on and if they decide to come during the show after the show arrest us well we'll have had a good show so without further ado what more can be said about my guest when he started as CEO of, well, they laughed when they called it equity back then. They had only 400,000 400, customers. Today, more than 10 million. Profit then, few hundred million. This year, 22 billion. Balance sheet, nearly half a trillion, nearly half a trillion, yeah, 400 billion shillings. More than 243 branches across the region. This bank is no longer a bank, believe it or not. It is now a holdings group because they have investment banking, they have insurance, they have a telecom. That's right. Remember that slim sim? They're still planning on rolling that out very soon. But perhaps what Equity Bank is going to be remembered for for the rest of its life is something called Wings to Fly where they literally give scholarships to kids after graduating from KCPE, and they fund them all the way to university and beyond. So far, they've committed to 10,000. More than 2,700 are in universities across the world. Close to 300 are in the Ivy Leagues in the US of A. Some of them work for companies like NASA, Pricewaterhouse, Morgan Stanley, you name it, these kids are Kenya's future. It's no surprise that he is the chairman of Vision 20 Delivery Board. He is delivering. He is on a roll. He is smoking. I don't even know what the next step is for this man because he has done it all. But he says, still plenty more to be done. Sit back. His Twitter handle is the bank's Twitter handle, at Equity Bank. Mine is at Kuinanga Jeff. The hashtag is JKL, or you could just use equity or whatever you want to use my guest tonight for the next hour or so the ceo and md of equity holdings group dr james mwangi thank you jeff dr Tari, yes sir. i apologize for the long intro but it's just so <laughs> impressive man i wish i had a teleprompter <laughs> to read all all that the bank has done in 10 years it's ridiculous well, how do you i mean People laughed in the beginning. Like I said, people yeah. laughed. It was all about equity. It was equity. <laughs> Building society. <laughs> Correct. Look at you now. Yeah. How? I mean, what, what, what's the secret? One secret, Dr. Ari, for this achievement in, in a decade? I would call it the spirit of a people uh, who wish to change their destiny. We were determined to empower our people to change the fortunes of Africa. We needed to empower our people to change the face of Africa. And looking back, we feel proud uh, of the contribution we have made. It may be humble contribution, but we have demonstrated what a people with a vision can achieve if they really focus on that vision. And yeah. particularly mm. if the vision is a meaningful purpose that you are willing to live for. Do you get that respect now? Because in the beginning, obviously, they laughed. But now when people mention equity, equity, whatever they say it, do you get the respect now when you walk into a room? I think uh, the brand of equity stands out in our country. If you look uh, whether it is uh, ranking, it's ranked number one bank uh, in the country, in whichever respect uh, you look at it. When you look at contribution to transformation of society, like you have said, with wings to fly, everybody then uh, honor equity because of its contribution. It may not be who we are, but for the impact we are having in society. Mm. Everybody acknowledges that equity 
has transformed the banking industry, have changed the lives of uh, Kenyans, and has inspired Kenyans to think big and to be respected globally because equity is a case study in all the global business schools, whether it's Harvard, whether it's Stanford, whether it's MIT, mm. whether it's Corobia, uh, it's a case study in all this. So really, it's no longer about uh, equity. It's about Kenya. It's the Kenyan people because equity is a Kenyan homegrown solution. Absolutely. So we should all be proud of, of uh, what we have been able to do as a society, as a country, and as a community. Yeah. You know, speaking of number one, I was at an awards ceremony last week, Dr. Yeah. Ari, and uh, you know, it was great. It was banking Awards 2015. And equity walked away with at least a dozen awards. I mean, best bank in Kenya, best in CSR, best in this, best in that. It was, it was equity throughout. It was very humbling, Jeff, to see that uh, for nearly, for every two awards that we are given, we took one, not forgetting there were 46 banks <laughs> competing for those awards. Yes. But for every two awards being given, almost one went to Equity Bank. That's incredible. That's incredible. I mean, it's and the power of the people. And it's the second year in a row, best bank in Kenya. Uh, we were the best bank in agency network, best microfinance bank in Kenya, best retail bank, best SME bank, best tier one bank, and best overall bank in Kenya. Mm. But what was most exciting is that for the third year in a row, we have won the bank with the lowest charges and most affordable banking services in Kenya. Three years in a row. And this year we topped it up with being the third best bank in customer satisfaction, not, notwithstanding that we have nearly 50% of all bank accounts in the country. What? For every two Kenyans with a bank account, one is, one is in equity bank, and the other one can be in any of the 46 <laughs> banks. That is what Kenyans have achieved. I'm very proud of the support we have got. I'm very proud of the determination of my colleagues, mm. 8,000 devoted Kenyans <laughs> delivering such glory to a nation. What we never thought we could do, professional banking, yeah. we have demonstrated as Kenyans we can do it and do it with ease. Did you think 10 years ago that 10 years later, Daktari, you'd be where you are today? You'd be number one, literally. We, all that we had was a vision that we would do whatever it would take for us to make a contribution. We never thought the contribution would be that significant and impactful. That we would be, as you have rightly said, not only be able to satisfy our shareholders, but also be able to rally partners to put 10,377 kids in our best schools in the country. Wow. I, I couldn't see that early alone. But it's, it's, it's a story that keeps on evolving. Each of us have a story that they can make evolve yeah. and eventually become a story to be told. Absolutely. 10,000 plus, you mentioned, right, in yeah. schools right now. Yeah. And recently, and, and I, a lot of people saw these pictures, um, former U.S. President Bill Clinton and his daughter Chelsea were in town, and they spent a day, they spent an afternoon or, or some hours at uh, Wings to Fly. Yes, they came to see and witness what we had uh, been able to do, and I'm very excited that uh, they have agreed to be partners with us for Phase 2. Hmm. So we are now confident that Phase 2 will be much bigger, much more impactful, because we, uh, with the Clinton Global Initiative and Foundation, will be able to rally a lot of people to support us. And you're going to America this week, and you're going to talk to them more about this. Absolutely. It's all about raising funds for phase two, where the objective is to educate 20,000 uh, kids, needy, gifted kids, in the next five years. 20,000? They have exceeded our expectations. Jeff, for the last two years, these kids have done their exams. 94%, without fail, every year, have managed to get university qualification. 34% got an A grade, compared to 3% the national average. That is the performance of those kids. When you see that, then you feel inspired to do even more, because they are doing their part. Yeah. Those kids will never have gone to secondary schools. No. And now 42% A grade. 
And you were talking earlier on, Dr. Adi, you were saying, and some of them, you, you literally, you go to some of these villages and you identify, you literally see kids who have been delegated to taking care of cows and sheep and their parents don't want them to go to school. And you turn that around. What's that story you were telling me? Yeah, it's, it's been amazing uh, when I visit uh, uh, their homes. This year, uh, I was very lucky uh, to go with the former president uh, of uh, Botswana uh, to Kapenguria, the, the whole of West Pokot we visited four kids, went uh, to Malalal, uh, visited uh, two kids, went to Rodua, visited four kids, including in Kakuma. Um, and we now have a doctor from Kakuma camp, a medical doctor, Jeff. No. Yeah. These kids have amazing capability. They have the inspiration. The low income and the poor have dreams. We just need to enable them to realize their dreams. And they're flying. I mean, Dr. you're saying a bunch of them are in Harvard, MIT, Cornell. Israel. We have uh, 265 kids in international universities. Harvard has 18. We have about uh, six who have completed. One of them is now working uh, for NASA. The other one is working for Goldman Sachs. The other one uh, uh, is working for JP Morgan. The other one is working for Fidelity. That is the quality of kids that uh, this program is producing. And let's face it, Doctor, a lot of these kids would never have had this opportunity. Never. They would have never gone to America or, or to Harvard, say, even. They could not, most of them, have gone to secondary school or university. So in we're the talking life-changing. I mean, this must be life-changing. We are talking about availing opportunities that help people to transform their lives. Those kids have not, not just transformed their lives. They have transformed of their entire families. When a child is working for NASA, that means that child will even transform the village, if not our country. Hmm? My goodness. So it's a very impactful program. And that's why we are fully committed to it. And I would really like to thank the members who bank with equity because it's their membership that enables us uh, to be able to take care of these kids. Really, Wings to Fry is a program of the members. So when someone says, I am a member, he's saying, I'm participating in educating the next generation. I'm participating in creating the next generation of leaders. Hmm. Jeff, that is what it simply means. But the and I'm making my country better. Yes. I'm part of that African success that all of us are proud of. When MasterCard came to you and, and, and you guys had this proposition on the table, did you think, you know what, <clears throat> this is going to change lives? We knew it could change our li lives because me and you, Jeff, you can see where we have come from. Uh, simply from very humble beginnings and you s find you are able to change your life, that of your family, yeah. and even contribute to your village. And like somebody like you, you might not have come from a very humble background, but you put the, our country on the map when you work globally and sure. as an anchor. Yes, that's true, that's true. Each of us has a role to play to make our society better. We need to give each Kenyan an opportunity to make their contribution because if all of us made contribution, Kenya would be that much better. And when you're identifying these kids, Dr. Ari, these ones in, in these out, you know, places that we don't even consider Kenya, unfortunately, many of us, do you go yourselves? Do you send your team? And no, we give each community, uh, let's say uh, if this year we are locating 25 scholarships, we give the community and ask them, give us the best but most deserving kids. Mm. So each district constitutes what we call District Scholarship Selection Board. This program is um, uh, grounded among the people. It's a community-based program. Yeah. It requires for success the participation. So equity cannot be blamed for the kids that we have admitted. Only the community can blame itself mm. for not giving us the most deserving. It's the community yeah. that determines which kids among and the community are most deserving. And none of them have disappointed you so far? Nobody. And we are very, very proud of the district selection boards. Because when we do audit, and when we try to verify, because the bank staff visit all the homes, they have done incredibly well in getting the most deserving. And when they are deserving, they give their all. That is why 
94% of all of them year after year are qualifying for university admission. Makes me I ask the question, Dr. Ari, who needs the Ministry of Education when we have new wings to fly? Wings to fly only touches 10,000 kids. Uh, the Ministry of Education takes care of 10 million kids. Yep. So we need the ministry. And look how many the of them thing, turn out. The schools that we said to our government schools, they are maintained by the ministries. We're just lettering a humble support. And you're going to increase that three times? You said, no, 20,000. 20, yeah. To have 30,000 in the next? Absolutely, in the next 10 years. In a total of 10 years. Wow. That's pretty incredible, Dr. Ari. I, I think that's uh, what we can do for our nation. If you create... And within an age group, 10,000 gifted, 30,000 gifted leaders. I have no doubt those leaders will change the economy during their lifetime. Absolutely. I mean, yeah. speaking. They will be investors, they will be risk uh, advisors, they will be doctors, they will be. Look at that uh, young uh, Tony, who is now uh, with NASA. They will bring the knowledge that this country really desperately requires. When you look at the ones who go to uh, our public universities, they come out top of their classes, mm. most of them with faster class. <laughs> Why? Because during the one year before they go to university, we teach them on work ethics. Remember, they work in the yes, bank. Yes. We coach them and we mentor them. They are always mature than their age mates. <laughs> they spend time with mature members of staff they serve customers and the pressure that customers put on them yeah. makes them to a mature in an accelerated way speaking of pressure dr Ari, you i mean you've been there what yeah, 10 yeah, years yeah. now yeah. you must be feeling the pressure to now take give over the ring the, the the reins of leadership to someone else and maybe you know you have work to do but off the top of my head i'm thinking there's a huge job that just opened up in Moranga. <laughs> Some guy called Mwagiwairi. <laughs> Jeff, I just renewed my employment contract with my board and uh, the shareholders. I, I committed myself for another 10 years to serve the members. So you, and you still have that drive, that vision, we, that absolutely. energy? The same enthusiasm, the same passion, the same conviction. This for me is a cause. This is a purpose I want to live for. And no politics, Dr. Ari, you don't... No, no politics. That's not my calling. But obviously you're doing a lot more where you are now than, you know... Uh, I don't want to say that because you need business people, you need philanthropists, you need politicians. Each of us contributes to make our country much better. I want to contribute in entrepreneurship. Entrepreneurship creates wealth. Our biggest challenge in Africa is poverty. Hmm. The cure for poverty is wealth creation. And that is what we are committed to. And that is what I'm nurturing. That generation of Wings to Fry and Equity Leaders programs call us to become the next generation of entrepreneurs, innovators, inventors, uh, specialists, leaders, and managers. And in the process, yeah. we see a, a economic transformation of the country you I mean, the name james mwangi I, obviously i mean this name is going to be remembered for eternity you're like you know the vanderbilts or the you know people who <laughs> built america Thank you know, they, you they talk about three, so kind. no honestly <laughs> I'm, I'm not i'm not blowing smoke up your skirt dr Ari. I'm, I'm just saying you know you've done this and you keep doing it if my humble contribution qualified uh, for that so be it i'll be happy but uh, if my contribution just lays the foundation for others to do it, I will have done my part. That's incredible, Dr. Ari. I want to come back, uh, take a break, come back and talk about the Slim Sim. <laughs> You're piggybacking or want to piggyback on Safaricom, and they weren't very happy. But geez, was that thing invented in Kenya, by the way? That's... No, we are bringing invention and innovation in Kenya. Okay. And all that we are obsessed with, Jeff, is to liberate Kenyans, to give Kenyans freedom, control of their lives. So there's nothing yeah, precious yeah. as freedom and or liberty and control. You feel you are in control of your finances, you're in control of your phone, and you have a say. Yeah, Bob Collimo doesn't think the that. way we said we did it. Bob Collimo thinks differently. <laughs> I think uh, uh, the jury is out there. The Kenyans are the judges. Nice. We'll talk about that after the break. And also, <laughs> let's come back to 
equity. <laughs> What's the goal? I mean, 10 million now. Where are you going next? I know you're in the region. You're in the five East African countries. What's next? And, I, and now there's another big country you're looking at. Hold that thought, Dr. Terry. Hold that thought. Thank you. Because I know yeah. you want to talk about that. Goodness gracious me. Somebody call Ameba. <laughs> James Mwangi is in the house and he is inspiring an entire generation of Kenyans. Can you imagine 10,000 kids, all fees paid for, everything, and then they go all the way to international universities and get a free education, come back, contribute. What more can one ask for? This man here is leading from the front. Inspiration Thursday, like no other folks, sit back. Jeff Kinanga Live takes a break. Keep tweeting at Equity Bank. At Queen Anger Jeff, the hashtag Meba. And JKL takes a break. We'll be back in a moment. <laughs> <laughs>